guys, Jim Irwin here uh, with a follow-up to our last hunting gear essentials. The first thing we did was the was the rain gear. Uh, the second most important, if not the most important thing to carry in your hunting pack is some sort of medical equipment. As you can see here, I've got a, a pretty extensive one, but I'm going to go through a little bit of what you should be looking to carry in your med kit for your hunting pack. So first and foremost, you know, Probably the most common injuries is going to be some sort of falls or a mishap while you're trying to get to your get to where you're hunting or in route to uh, an animal. So you're looking at cuts, scrapes, bruises. Second, secondly, you're looking at uh, potential injury with accidental discharge due to a fall or uh, something of that nature, or cuts from knives or accidentally shooting yourself with an arrow, something like that. So the main thing is going to be trying to stop bleeding. Uh, and then maybe onto some sort of break or uh, injury of that sort. Uh, uh, Overexcitement, injuries that are going to cause you to accidentally cut yourself or uh, cause you to fall and break skin. So first and foremost, we got our Band-Aids right here. So my first recommendation when you're out there and trying to save time, put a Band-Aid on it, drink some water and drive on because it's probably not that bad. <laughs> all, right. all kidding aside, uh, serious note, tourniquets are huge. These things can be lifesavers, they're quick. Uh, and effective, man, cutting off that bleeding and stopping the bleeding. Band-Aids are always helpful. Uh, I throw some gloves in with mine in case it's not me I got to work on. So gloves are handy, lightweight, easy to pack. Uh, other things you'll see out there could be some sort of uh, contact with something that causes you to break out or some sort of allergy. So we carry some Benadryl, some like Tylenol or Aleve, something like that as well when we're out there. Uh, going to the next step, you'd look into some sort of open wound where you're gonna to have to pack it and compress it and get the bleeding to stop. So we carry some stuff like uh, this combat quick clot here, some compression gauzes, as you see here, right? Bigger sorts. Again, this can actually be used as a, a hasty tourniquet as well, but a larger pack of compression. Uh, the concept is to stop the bleeding and, and contain that wound. So another piece you do here on your steps is like a non-adhesive uh, pad. And then take that with your uh, gauze material here, wrap around it. That's a non-stick gauze material. And then you can use what we have here is a vet wrap, which uh, you pull it out, stretches, and can stick to itself. And is actually quite handy in uh, sealing up the wounds and keeping air, debris and anything else out of it. And, uh, so quick and easy. Uh, worst case scenario, you take a, uh, you get cut yourself, stab yourself in the chest, or you take a gunshot wound to the chest. We carry uh, an ash, a chest seal here. It's a Bolin chest seal, not an Ashman's chest seal. So you have that wound. You can press it, burp it. This is pretty advanced, uh, so if you can get a hold of one, cool. But the main thing here is being able to stop that bleeding, isolate the wound, and uh, get help. All right, guys. So med kit, big thing to have in your in your hunting pack. Have a good one. All right, guys. Thanks for checking out the video. For a more in depth list of what we carry and any questions you might have, go ahead and message me at Jim the Kraken One on Facebook. Have a good one.